What's going on YouTube, Chiasno right here, so in today's video I have some bad news about the uncovered jailbreak, which of course has been patched. So a new iOS version is out, we're going to talk about this and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to stay safe and of course to keep your device jailbroken. So this video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software Dr. Phone Phone Manager, which allows you to transfer photos and videos and music and messages and stuff like that and back them up on your computer and vice versa. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably know, the uncovered jailbreak now supports iOS 13. Point five, which happens to be one of the signed versions right now, all the way down to iOS 11. Now, just a couple of days ago, iOS 13.5 was the latest version available. However, yesterday, Apple released iOS 13.5.1, which does only one thing. It patches the uncovered jailbreak. Pound to own, the developer behind the uncovered jailbreak posted, quote, iOS 13.5.1 and tvOS 13.4.6 are just released to patch the kernel vulnerability used by the uncovered jailbreak. Do not update your devices. He then Followed up with this quote I can confirm the new iOS and tvOS updates have patched the kernel vulnerability used by the uncovered jailbreak. If you are on 13.5, stay and save blobs. If you're not on 13.5, update to it with the IPSW using a computer while still being signed and save blobs. Now, saving blobs is actually done for downgrade purposes and, of course, for upgrade purposes after the signing window is no longer available. Right now, even though iOS 13.5.1 is signed and has been released, which basically only patches the uncover, iOS 13.5 remains signed and you can still update to it and jailbreak your device. However, Apple will not keep this signed for so long, especially since they already released a patch for the uncover. So expect 13.5 to stop being signed in a couple of days. So definitely do it right now if you want to update to 13.5, because this may be your last day to do it. However, saving your SHSH2 blobs is actually a very good idea. And as Pound says in here, quote, saving blobs may allow you to restore or update to 13.5 even when it's no longer being signed by Apple. You can save them using tssaver.onecanon.com with the ACID value shown in the uncovered settings after a successful jailbreak process. So definitely you can use this website in here to go ahead and save your blobs. It's actually quite useful. You just have to input your ACID that you can find in the uncovered jailbreak and of course select the proper device in here and you would be good to go. And those blobs once saved will allow you to be able to upgrade or downgrade to 13.5 in the future if some conditions are met. Now, now, those are not bulletproof, so Apple can still stop you from doing so if the SEP and basement are not compatible, but still it adds a layer of protection. Now, if you go ahead and here on the iOS 13.5.1 and check out the security content, everything they did was to patch the kernel vulnerability using the uncover. There is only one vulnerability in here, only one CVE, and it says, quote, impact. An application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And this is basically credited to uncover. The exploit was basically created by Saigusa and the uh, vulnerability was rediscovered by pound to own, it's an older vulnerability, it wasn't exactly zero day in terms of the bug, though Apple didn't know about it at the time. But yeah, it did help a lot, we had a jailbreak and we still have a jailbreak for a signed version right now, and for a couple of days we had a jailbreak for the latest version available, so this was actually massive. But yes, Apple reacted quite quickly and in a couple of days they released 13.5.1, which puts an end to the uncovered jailbreak, so definitely do not update the 13.5.1. So yeah, definitely save your blobs with the TSS saver just in case, because Apple will definitely stop signing 13.5 very, very soon. And once they do that, you will never be able to upgrade or downgrade again. Thank you for watching, I am GS Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated for more jailbreak news and peace out.